the CPI number came out and boom, housing was right in the middle of it all, all next. Yes, that's exactly what you heard. Housing is right in the middle of it all. And what does that mean for you? We're all gonna talk about it today on Real Estate Daily. Welcome everyone, my name is Troy. And every day we go over the latest news in real estate, housing, and the mortgage market. Now, I know you're thinking, all right, what's happening out there? Is CPI really moving You know, the needle here on real estate as well as interest rates? We're gonna go over that today. Let's first jump right into it. Because the very first thing here is the CPI number. Big, big day. It says July CPI report shows inflation gauge rose 3.2% less than expected. So what's happened is why and I, I had this conversation a few days ago uh, is that I'm seeing energy go up, but they really didn't see energy go up. What do they see go up? Housing and housing, including rents, as well as what your mortgage payment would be. So let's go read a couple of things in here. It says, almost all the monthly inflation increases came from shelter costs, which rose 0.4% and were up 7.7% from a year ago. But the next line here is probably the most, uh, let's just say it's the most worrisome that I see here. It says, real wage adjustment for inflation increase 0.3% on the month and we're up 1.1% from a year ago. Guys, you're not getting raises. Now, I'm not saying that, that's what it sounds like, right? What I'm actually saying is that the higher end jobs continue to get laid off and the lower jobs, you know, are actually getting wage increases and are rising, but they're right. But but overall, it's just going up. It's creeping up. And it's never keeping up with inflation, as we all know. And today, we're going to show over several several different other graphs here about what's happening out there in the real estate world and how it's really affecting people. All right. So let's jump into the Cobesi ladder again. If you're on Twitter or X, it's actually called. Go do me a favor, give them a follow. Cobessi letter, they're fantastic. It says, while overall inflation now is at 3.2%, simply having a house to live in, in, in is still incredibly expensive. Inflation on shelter is still up, still at an alarming 7.7%, okay? Looking to rent your primary residence, inflation is still point, is 8% for renters. Meanwhile, looking to enjoy a meal at a restaurant, inflation's up 7.1 for food away from home. And inflation has made simp- simple things a luxury. So that's what we're seeing here is just, shelter is really just taking over here, guys. It's really taken over. And we're gonna go, this is what's crazy about it. Look at this, US rent just $16 shy of a record at shelter cost drive july inflation that's what's happening out there you've got to have a place anyone that's a renter needs i I cannot stress this i stress it all the time has to have some type of plan to get out of the rental rat race has to otherwise this is going to continue to happen over and over and it's not going to do any 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 good for you every month you spend money on rent, you're throwing your money away. You're not, you're, your biggest asset for most people in the United States is their house. And their house, not on a month-to-month basis, not typically on a month-to-month basis, we'll see it rise in price. But what you're doing is that money is paying down the balance, which usually gives you more equity. So even if the house just stays exactly where it is month-to-month, just paying that payment pays down the equity. You owe less on the house. Again, rent is just throwing it away. It's going the exact opposite. So let's jump back in the Kobesi letter here. It says, and this was posted a couple hours ago. It says, the cost of both buying and renting a house in America skyrocketed since 2020. Buying a house now costs $2,700 a month on average, up an alarming 86% in three years. Now, we obviously know that the Fed is the entire reason why this has happened. Entire reason, right? What they did was they kept interest rates real low and everyone went out and bought a house. Then they turned around and they shot those interest rates up 250%. And now people, now even though the, the housing market is just slowly going up because of the interest rates being so high, it's killing you out there. This is all falling on the blue team in Washington, D.C. and the Fed. There's no question about it. Okay, So again, 
Whoever you vote for next needs that you need to have an eye on how they're going to help your monthly budget and your in, your income coming into your house. If you're not, if you're going, oh, I'm taking politic, I'm taking social stands here or there. Those social stands are costing you and you're out of your pocket every single month. And if it's ESG or climate change, guys, let's let's just wake the f up, okay? 80% of the world doesn't care. So if 80% of the world just pollutes the skies, why are we sitting here killing ourselves as Americans spending 400 bucks out of our pocket every single month just because, because we think that it's doing better for us? And it's not. It's simply not. Now, am I saying let's keep status quo? Absolutely not. I'm not saying that as well. But we all have to know that any money out of our pocket is going to change our lifestyle. And if it stops you from buying a house, it will change your wealth, your family's wealth, your grandchildren's wealth. I want you to think about that. All right, let's jump right into the uh, interest rates here. It's all pretty flat. I mean, Jumbo just, again, exploded right here. That's just ridiculous. It doesn't, I mean, it's just a riskier loan for some banks and they just don't want to take the risks. And because of that, they just pull the whole market up. They pull all that Jumbo up, right? The Jumbo loan. So, but let's go take a look at it. 30 year, 30 year fix is pretty much flat. You know, uh, I should say FHA flat here on conforming. You know, it just, it's, it's flat. So everyone was anticipating the CPI print today. We saw a stock market explode up. And then all of a sudden, after you start reading the data, it goes, oh, well, that wasn't so good. Well, that wasn't so good. And now it's floating all the way down. In fact, it might be even negative territory now, uh, before, right before the close. So crazy how this roller coaster ride is. I, you know, I've, I've told everyone in the past, if you have money in 401ks in the stock market, mm, I would, I would reevaluate that you're having someone else manage your money and they're not, I don't think they're, I mean, if you did all the research, which you can now on the internet, then I think you might be just as good as him, if not better, not financial advice. Just know that this is something I'm, I'm putting into your ear. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day on Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow on Friday. Take care.